Welcome to the Everyman's Auto Video Car Diary. I'm Chris, your host. This is my diary. We're in a car, and now it's on video. Today we have the 2014 Fiat 500L. It also gets called the Fiat 500L wagon because you got a little bit of space back there past the uh, C pillar. But it's a wagon just as much as the Ford C Max Hybrid is a wagon because, again, a little bit of space past the C pillar, so it becomes a wagon. Now, this car has been referred to as the Fiat 500's fat American cousin. Well, it's not American because it's still, it's still an Italian car. And it's not really fatter. It does have a longer wheelbase. It's about 12 inches longer in the wheelbase. But the car weighs less than the Fiat 500 bar. This car only weighs 32.54, so 3,254 pounds, which isn't a lot. It's not the lightest car, but it's not a lot. The great thing about this car, and the part I like the most, is the engine. You get a 1.4 liter multi-air turbo four-cylinder engine that makes 160 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs, and it also makes 184 foot-pounds of torque at about 2,500 RPMs. So you get all your torque low, but you get most of your power high. So it kind of makes your power band pretty useful. You're getting the quick speed of let's go when you're trying to let's go, and you get the pull of the actual power near the top when you're on the highway trying to pass people, which I, li I like the power band quite a bit. I, w I got to the speed limit surprisingly quickly. Now, engine aside, overall performance or overall atmosphere of the car is kind of Jekyll and Hyde. The Jekyll side being the fuel saving economy car, I don't really get that. The lounge trim level we're sitting in is $24,000 as a base price. This one's been optioned up to $27,000. Fuel saving economy cars are not $27,000. Okay, even the, the hybrids, the crazy hybrids are, are now cheaper than that. Some of them, not all of them, but some. And the fuel economy isn't that great. You get 33 on the highway. Some V6s get 29 on the highway. So you're only getting four miles per gallon more on the highway. In the city, it, it's supposed to get 24. I averaged 26 over, over my time with it for my combined driving. The sticker says 27 for a combined, but I averaged 26. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Now, the other side of that, if, if, if that's the, the Jekyll side, uh, on the sporty hide side, the engine's great. It's fantastic, but it's not enough for a $27,000 sports car. I'm only getting 160 horsepower for $27,000. GTIs, Ford Focus ST, that's 252, over 200 horsepower, and I'm only getting 160. So, on the price side, uh, that price kind of makes me want to walk away, but you can have the same engine in this car for 19.1, which is the base trim level, and that's the trim level I'd be shopping here. I'd be looking at the pop. Now, there's something else that bothers me about this car, but again, can be allevi alleviated by going to the base trim level. With the base trim levels, it comes with a six-speed manual. In the in the lounge, you get a six-speed automated manual Euro twin clutch transmission. It's a mouthful, but that's what it is. You get a six speed automated manual. And in manual mode, it's good. It's not wonderful, but it's good. I liked it. The other thing is my, my throttle response. I just, need, I just need a little quicker throttle response for it to be a sports, sporty car. So it didn't, it didn't go all the way economic car. It hasn't gone all the way sports car. It's, it's kind of this, this blend. They, they haven't picked one or the other. But, but I'm okay with that. I, it's, it's not the worst. Then the interior of this car has to involve some kind of Time Lord technology because it looks like a small car on the inside. You get in here, it's a pretty large interior. The, the dash seems to go on for about a mile and a half. We have the, the optional uh, glass panoramic roof, which seems to add about three inches of headroom for me to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm not even close. I could raise the seat and still have headroom. The back seat fits both child car seats very comfortably. 
the 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 gauges the gauges are, are acceptable uh, the trip computer is acceptable you get a digital speedo um, the the uconnect system and the, and the touch screen display is functional it, it works easy you get a glove box and kind of a storage bin but it, the storage bin isn't so far away that I can't get to it so as the driver I can put stuff there and, and get stuff in and out I kept my wallet there all week it was it was great um, you do have knobs for climate control um, and it has an automatic all four windows are auto up auto down and they all go all the way down which is glorious um, the all around glass feel kind of feels like you're sitting in an aquarium but that's not bad I got used to it first time I got in it, I was like ooh, everyone's gonna see me but I live in a fishbowl anyway we're on the internet so that wasn't that big a deal the trunk is kind of unique um, it, it's like they didn't know where to put the, the tire care kit, so instead of putting it underneath the car, they, they put it on the bottom of the trunk and kind of boxed over it and then realized they had to put some other stuff on the right with a plastic that cinched down with a, with a bolt. And then they went, well, no one's going to want to load stuff on that, so let's take a shelf and put a shelf in three inches above that. So you have this shelf, then underneath that you have this a, a small space for some storage, then all the tire care kit and stuff, and then at the very far back where you would do the, the child latches, there's this weird triangle piece that comes in and out. Uh, it, it's not bad. I got used to it. Everything worked, but it was just kind of off-putting. I, I hope that when people encounter that, when they just look at the back and they're not like, what's going on back here? Because it, it, it feels like an afterthought. Um, the, the space in the rear... I need just a, a scotch more. Uh, we have a single bob stroller. If you know what a bob is, obviously you have kids. If you don't, it's a big, nice jogging stroller. You have to, like, cram it in there to get it in the trunk. And that's just one stroller. It, it, we're not even talking double stroller. It's just a single stroller. So, again, car not really meant for people with kids. But at the same time, I can fit two child safety seats in fairly easy. I should be able to get my one stroller in. That's all I'm saying, just one. Maybe Italians have skinny kids, and so that's why they don't need a big stroller. But my kids are huge, so I need a big stroller. The child safety seat installation was very easy. I gave it a 1 out of 5 on the crooked finger test. The only reason it got a 1 out of 5 and not a 0 out of 5 is, is because of the re-awkwardness in the back with pulling the piece out and, and redoing the other one. The front two on both seats was incredibly easy and simple. I'm not even filming myself doing it. it was, it's the most boring video ever because it was clip, clip, cinch, clip, clip, cinch, rear piece in the back, cinch, cinch. N no issue at all. There's no point in, in boring you with that. That's, that's really all I got. Overall, I like it. I do enjoy the car. I'd probably shop the pop trim level. If I'm shopping this car, I'm shopping the pop trim level at $19,100. I'm springing for the 17-inch tires just because I like the look of them. Um, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to spring for one of the, the colors on the roof. I think you can get either a, a full white roof or a full black roof. Uh, I like the color variation up there. I saw one that was full solid red all over the place, and I don't really like the look of that. The exterior of the car, it's good. It, it, it's a mashup in and of itself. But I, I, in my mind, I see Citroen DS3 and that those weird compressed natural gas carbon man van things that that company went bankrupt a couple months ago that's kind of what i see for the overall look so overall fun little car i really enjoyed it uh i really enjoyed it when i'm driving it hard that that's when i when i have the most fun with it um i, I kind of wish it would lean one more way either we're gonna make a sports car or we're gonna make an economy car uh i kind of hope they do in a bars version that'll be a lot of fun uh, i don't care which way you go just 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 pick Pick a side. So, everymansauto.net is our website. You can follow me, Twitter and Instagram, at everymansauto. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook if you go to everymansauto.net. Click like in the upper right-hand corner for Facebook. Um, check out uh, gas, the number two dot org. I write stuff for them. You'll see my written review of the Fiat 500L over there in a, in a couple of weeks or days. And uh, that's all we've got. Thanks for watching. This went way too long. But it's a car that had to be talked about and had to be described. I say that because only about three people of you will click this link. So thanks for watching the three of you that clicked the link. We'll see you next time. Thank you.